The North Caucasus Federal University is the largest higher educational institution in the region and it is one of the ten federal universities of Russia. The university includes ten institutes and two branch institutions offering training within 255 specialties to over 25,000 students. These young people come from 52 regions of Russia, 47 countries abroad and represent 81 ethnic groups. The North Caucasus Federal University employs over 2,000 teachers, of which 326 persons hold doctorate degrees and another 1,300 are candidates of science. The share of teachers holding various academic degrees is 84%, while the average age of the teaching staff is 45. These indicators bring the university on top of the list of the Russian Federal Universities. The head of the supervisory board here is Mr. Alexander Hlaponin, deputy chair of the Russian government, while the board of trustees involves all the leaders of the North Caucasus Federal District, and it is governed by Mr. Lev Kuznetsov, minister for the North Caucasus. The university aims at developing academic programs to meet the needs of the North Caucasus and we have already signed cooperation agreements with six areas in the region. In 2015 alone, the university opened its doors to 7,600 freshmen coming from 51 Russian regions including Moscow, St. Petersburg, Kaliningrad, Murmansk, Crimea, Kamchatka, as well as from all the North Caucasus regions and south of Russia. The 13 research centers of the university run activities within 67 scientific fields, and their priority belongs to nanotechnology, biomedicine, life science, biological safety and food technology, aerospace and geoinformation technology, and territory planning, neurocomputers and high performance computing, data protection, energy efficiency, ethnic demography and conflict studies, socio political research. Caucasus studies and culture and tradition of the North Caucasus. NSFU has 10 doctoral dissertation committees and holds up to 50 international conferences each year and they focus on a huge range of issues – migration, geopolitical and ethnic issues in the Caucasus and Balkans, gender studies, engineering and industrial status of South Russia. These are just a few to mention. Year after year, the university accomplishes most ambitious aims through various projects, and the students here win numerous national and international awards. Three teachers this year have become holders of presidential grants for young scholars. Ten students have been awarded grants from the Russian national context UMNIC, and another three have got personal scholarships. NCFU graduates enjoy a huge demand in the labor market, and 94% of our degree holders found employment in 2014. The university has already signed around 4,000 contracts with various employers who offer field placement to our students, thus contributing to their professional skills perfection. In the July of 2015, NCFU opened a laboratory for ceramics technology, which is a joint project launched by the Advanced Research Foundation, Ministry of Education and Science of Russia, and North Caucasus Federal University. The major purpose of this is to develop a key center focused on developing new optic ceramic materials, whereas the results of such work could be used in the widest range of spheres, from medicine to robotics and space technologies. An agreement has been signed between NCFU and the joint stock company of North Caucasus Resorts. The agreement implies training for NCFU students who will be further employed at the developing tourist destinations of the North Caucasus. The hospitality business that is rapidly developing in this area is expected to create 125,000 workplaces in the nearest future, and NCFU well deserves to be one of the major suppliers of highly qualified and trained experts. 19 of the NCFU teachers have successfully completed various courses at the leading universities offering training in tourism and hospitality business all over the world – Switzerland, the Netherlands, Great Britain, Spain, Turkey and Ireland. In the April of 2015, NCFU specialists were the only representatives of Russia at the World Tourist Forum in Lucerne, Switzerland, delivering a speech on the university's activities and the training offered here. In 2014, 58 teachers as well as 140 students and postgraduates received training abroad and attended various international conferences. At the same time, 54 leading professors of 15 countries delivered their seminars and lectures at NCFU. In the three years since NCFU was established, it has already signed cooperation agreements with 67 foreign institutions from 27 countries. And in 2014, the university hosted a forum for foreign students of South Russia, which brought together over 120 undergraduates of the North Caucasus Federal District and the Southern Federal Area. The proactive stance taken by the North Caucasus Federal University has already become part of its image. 
The university is one of the organizers of the annual Stavropol Forum for Global Russian Congregation, hosting scholars from all over the world. In the March of 2015, NCFU hosted the National Forum for Russian Language and Literature, with many top politicians, education ministers and leaders attending the event. Another notable event held by NCFU was an assembly of Russian university rectors with over 100 academic leaders joining the meeting, which was headed by Mr. Sadovnichi of the Moscow State University. NCFU is the organizer of Home of Friendship, a youth festival which was started in order to maintain the intercultural links in the North Caucasus. Each year, this festival brings together over 5,000 students from all over the region. This year, NCFU was in charge of the cultural and academic program at the Youth Forum Mashuk, called 120 seminars and master classes. Last year, the university's student government body won the top prize at the contest arranged by the Federal Ministry for Education and Science together with the Russian Union of Youth. With this independent development strategy, the North Caucasus Federal University is moving towards its major aim to be the center of academic and cultural life for the entire region. <laughs>